when God called me into ministry I took time to pray one of the things I covenanted with God with was that I did not want to manipulate God's people because of this money thing I saw sincere well-meaning people who love the Lord but once you are pushed by the pressure of ministry you would do things you never plan doing but I know that I have to eat and the implication of ministry is that you will feed many people you will be like father Abraham having many children your own and the ones that have forced themselves to be your own and I said God I don't want to tell people lies I had great men like Bishop Oyedeko great men like my dear revered mentor Dr. Miles Munro they talked about the potency of walking in the blessings of God while others were there arguing in pride with no result I said God you can't be lying please show me I confess my ignorance I have read this thing but it's not working there are human beings in the world but nobody's looking my direction I don't need to go to a herbalist there is a way Kai. Job said there is a path which no fowl has seen that the whelps of the lion has not gotten there when I caught that revelation of I shall not want I said this is it and God is able to make all grace if you think what prospers men is business get ready to suffer till Jesus comes now I'm not I'm not against those things don't get me wrong but first things first the realm of the spirit is what controls the physical realm but when you hold it there bar that's it you've held it you've held it it's true the same thing with the ministry of the spirit the anointing I saw great people that I admired walking in dimensions of the anointing and I said there has to be a way I got all the teachings and the materials I don't want to do a ministry speaking to people and they're shouting amen coming week after week making sacrifices and then they don't testify that is evil and is wicked in fact is fraud I said I don't want that kind of thing Father, show me the secret to real power. Real, genuine power. I have found David, my servant. Ah, so God can find men, but until he finds his servant, he will not anoint you. God can find Joshua Selman, but he's looking for his servant. For as long as you are still Joshua Selman, that oil will not come to your head until you become his servant. The anointing is not for men of God. The anointing is for servants. Genuine people who love Jesus beyond their reputation, who want to see him glorified. You see. You know why sometimes you hear me tell these guys to play these things? This is not, it's not a movie. One day, I was meditating on scripture and the Lord took me to the story of Elisha he said bring me a mistral and while the mistral played he said the hand of the Lord came upon him and he began to prophesy then he says I will reveal my dark sayings upon the heart it may not work for everyone but that is how light came to me I valued divine presence when I meditated on the scripture Moses said do not send us from here if your presence I'm showing you how to manifest realities what provided what you are doing is just reading the Bible to ease the guilt of feeling less spiritual you will never never produce anything potent he said if your presence will not go with us and then here's what he said he said my presence will go with you and I will give you rest I said that's the key to rest the presence of God I remember in 2005 I spent a major part of that year doing a research on Jewish worship and the mystery of God's presence I wanted to know what was it about Jewish worship and God's presence that's when you saw that I started falling in love with all this kind of Paul Wilbur songs King of Kings we hail you most high all these songs that came later on by the Spirit because I found out that there was a connection to these kinds of songs and the Spirit of God and the Shekinah of God 
listen you must move past the realm of just reading scripture and get it to your consciousness it will take time but allow the spirit of God move it stay in your one room and read the scripture on how God brings men out the day it enters your spirit you will know the devil will know everything around you will know and like a magnet it will start drawing from anywhere on earth the men and the circumstances that must make that word become reality in your life I assure you on this listen hear me the day the power to prosper through meditation comes on you right where you are you know how and you know how explosions happen a nuclear bomb huh that's how it would from your place it's like an explosion in your spirit it will gravitate everything that must make that revelation true in your life and it will bring it to your life it is true sometimes it's difficult to teach these things because people mistaking it for pride but by the privilege of God's grace you see we have proven these things and will prove it again and again and again your consciousness the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want it doesn't stop there but that is the springboard the Lord not my ability the Lord here's how many of us interpret it my brain is my shepherd I shall not want <laughs> no. the Lord the journey to lasting well starts with the Lord it does not ignore your mind it does not ignore your value but it is the Lord because he must be Alpha and Omega are we together sit down let me give you the third for someone let me give you a little assignment just lay your hand gently on your head I want you to think of one scripture by the Spirit that you know there are many scattered in the Bible but one bailout scripture that you need to meditate upon until light enters your spirit for some of you is thou anointest my head thou anointest my ministry are you seeing that ministry anointed rising from where it is are you seeing yourself rising as a father of nations you may not be physically called Abraham but ladies and gentlemen when what God told Abraham enters you nothing will keep you down you just do what I'm asking you to do and you see a miracle that is happening to your spirit man you're a businessman take away your mind from your brain and look on to Jesus some of you are in ministry you have struggled and struggled it's not an issue of struggling there is a consciousness for as long as there are 8 billion people on earth everybody will not tell God no he can fish help for you from everywhere there are some of you the revelation for you should be that God is the one who gives you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places mm. I am the Lord that teaches thy hands to prosper I am the Lord that teacheth thy hands to prosper. You have to be taught. No, it's not your ability. You are taught. You just take a minute to meditate on this. Some of you, is that meditation that will cure you from causes forever. Raised up with him out of every tribe out of every tongue even the worship of the dead yes people were buried in my village but have been exalted exalted beyond every curse exalted beyond every charm any enchantment for someone the revelation for you is no weapon formed against you formed in the secret 
formed by the conspiracy of men no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper for another surely they shall gather but because they are gathering of not of the Lord they will scatter as much as they have gathered they will come in one way and be dispersed in seven ways hallelujah in Jesus name hear me Psalm 119 from verse 97 to 99 let's hurry up Psalm 119 97 to 99 meditation involves hearing meditation involves speaking meditation involves the power of your imagination all of them have to come into play as you meditate oh how i love thy law he says they or it is my meditation how long the psalmist all the day my meditation verse 98 thou through your commandment has made me wiser than my enemies for they are ever with me last verse I have more understanding than my teachers for your testimonies are my meditation the secret to my conviction my meditation he's saying or my persuasion is that I have meditated on that reality you see one of the ways you meditate is to repeat thoughts again and again and again it's a practice till today till today I can play a teaching play a message play scriptures play verses again and again sometimes I make declarations myself and record it prophetic declarations myself and I put it on repeat while I sleep there are times I want to focus on just two verses I meditate on those two verses I first quote them and then make prophetic declarations by myself they are in my phone and I play it on repeat whether I'm awake or sleeping sometimes I'm doing my study and they are playing the goal is not awareness I'm transporting it to a realm when it lands that realm I know that I'm ready for the next step I've shared with you my story when God moved us to Abuja I was praying and trusting God for direction and God told me like he did Abraham get the map of Abuja get the map of Nigeria get the map of Africa get the map of the world and he says start praying with those maps so every time I'm praying I will place those maps four of them I still have them till today and lay my hands one day something happened to me I looked at the map of Abuja and it became small very small the city just became it's like it just shrunk and it became small I knew a miracle had happened I knew koinonia was ready to start because that reality of territorial dominion for the sake of his majesty that's what happened hmm. hallelujah but every once in a while not every time I revisit those maps again and now that God is sending us to the nations I carry that map of the world sometimes and I look at it and I look at the continents from the eyes of the Creator not from the eyes of an inhabitant you can't see that far but when you stand with the creator's lens you will see that there is no nation you cannot conquer men like John Knox saw this and they said God give me Scotland not a community give me that territory listen when you do this you can see great things you can put your businesses and say by God's grace I will have a global business for the kingdom people will laugh at you it's, it's not an attack it's a usual thing with men men are permitted to laugh until your result bail you out 
provided you have not produced results don't be angry that men laugh and mock mockers are a natural pathway to greatness if you don't find them you're on the wrong path their presence validates that you might be doing something right so you continue but when you emerge you get that thing to your consciousness you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you hallelujah my dear friend pastor Shola when his church got born we went for a conference in his church and pastor Poju said something just a, a brief session before I came up to preach and he said something within a few minutes but it was such a profound blessing he told the church then he said take away the memory from your mind of a bond church and see a great church that God is building as simple as that statement was I said this is it the Spirit of God quickened that statement while we look not at the things that are seen you have been seeing your disappointment every time you look at your passport you remember the visa you didn't get you look at the situation and you see yourself as a beggar forever you see yourself as a weak man of God in competition with other men of God or getting angry that is the reason why it keeps you like that you need to wipe that vision out of your mind you must have control over your meditation finally brethren Philippians chapter 4 I believe in verse 8 whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise koinonia help me think on these things anything that is outside this list the bible is giving you an advice that meditating on them is a risk to your destiny